Welcome back to one of three news weekend edition live look at SPID on the Saturday evening moving smoothly out there. It's a beautiful evening if you don't mind that humidity. It's a warm one feeling like summer out there. Current temperature 80 degrees dew point sitting at 78. So we still have a feels like temp right now of 86 degrees in Corpus Christi with winds out of the south southeast at about six miles an hour. Current temperatures across the coastal bend. Most of us sitting in the low 80s, 83 in Port Aransas, 82 in Rockport, 80 in Ingleside and 79 in Mathis. We put in the humidity and it feels still like a feels like temperature of 91 right now in Robstown, even though it's almost 1030 PM, 84 in Beeville, 83 in Mathis feels like 86 here in Corpus Christi. Feels like 91 right now in Port Aransas. So those winds continue out of the southeast. We are clear and quiet across the coastal bend this evening. That's the case throughout the entire Lone Star State, except the panhandle here. We have a severe thunderstorm watch north of Lubbock, Amarillo. These storms from eastern New Mexico are pushing into the panhandle. Those won't affect us though here in the coastal bend. We will stay quiet. Moving out to the west, excessive heat warnings in effect for Phoenix, Las Vegas, into Southern California and into uh, Southern and Central Utah as well. Big time heat wave expected as we head into next week. All courtesy of this high pressure sitting in northern Mexico, far west Texas, keeping our weather quiet this weekend. Well, it'll push a little bit further off to the west over the next few days, set up a ridge out to the west. And that means big time heat for the desert southwest. It also gives us some chances of some rain showers moving back to the forecast as this high loses its control across the coastal bend. We're also tracking the tropics here. The Bay of Campeche, 40% chance of development over the next five days, according to the National Hurricane Center. 10% chance over the next two days. That's a low risk, but we'll watch that carefully. We do expect something to develop early to mid next week. So this is Wednesday. The European model starting to see some spin here in the western Gulf of Mexico. This is what we are going to watch over the next few days. Too early to pinpoint exactly what's going to happen, how strong the storm is going to get, and uh, where we will see impacts. Most models taken into Louisiana, but we'll have to watch this carefully towards the end of this week. So this is uh, on Friday. We'll watch that carefully. Now, in the short term, though, Sunday looks mainly sunny. Monday gives us our next chance of maybe a passing shower here in the coastal bend. Most of the day is quiet. We see some activity trying to make their, its way in our northern areas, uh, but it looks like a minimal chance right now. So an isolated tropical shower is possible on Monday evening. That's about it. Tomorrow's forecast though looks great. So overnight tonight, uh, mainly clear skies. Temperatures dropping in the mid 70s, staying warm and humid. Tomorrow's forecast similar to today. We'll have some morning cloud cover, lots of afternoon sun, highs in the low 90s, factor in the humidity. It's going to feel once again like about 102 to 107 across the coastal bend, a little bit cooler near the beaches. So you may want to head out to the beach. 88 degree air temperature tomorrow. Water temperature sitting at 85. Light southeast wind but an extreme UV index, so make sure to put on that sunscreen and take it easy. Your seven day forecast bringing a little bit more clouds as we head into the work week. Those temperatures staying in the low to mid 90s, factor in the humidity though, it's going to feel once again about 100 to 105 when we track that chance of tropical weather as we head towards next week. Mike. Thank you, Joe. Hey,